Disclaimer, this video is rated M for mature audiences. If you are not okay with violence and whatever this game has to offer, then please walk away from this video right now. If you are okay with violence and such, then keep watching, please. But viewer discretion is advised. This is Diane from These Head Videos. Um, you're late returning one of our videos. It's called um, Coffee and Milf. Please return it ASAP. Have a nice day. Mr. Touchdown, please wire the money as soon as possible. Please hurry or something unfortunate may happen. In addition, the registration for the sixth UAA rank is complete. We look forward to hearing from you. Something terrible might happen. Oh no, that sounds terrible. All right, well, 350,000 LB, that's not that much, except that we're gonna have to spend money on the new beam katana, I think. But anyway, guys, welcome back to Let's Play. No more heroes for the Nintendo Wii. Last time, what did we do? We fought the sixth ranked assassin, Holly Summers, otherwise known as Slutty Satan, the daughter of Michael Bay. <laughs> if you haven't watched the last episode yet, you should probably watch it because that joke actually makes sense. In today's episode, we are going to get money. Actually, this is going to be the very first and probably only double length episode where I plan on doing the, getting money and fighting the assassin in the, this episode. Cause yeah, this this next assassin, oh boy, <laughs> uh, words cannot describe him or her. I'm not telling you if it's boy or girl. It's a dude. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to check as usual. Check Naomi's lab. That is not the way to Naomi's lab. <laughs> that kid is not how you Tokyo drift. What the dump? The game just chooses when it wants me to Tokyo drift and when it doesn't. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, I thought I was gonna get a hit there. So yeah. Let's just go see our fan servicey friend and get a beam katana, maybe? Maybe not? Don't lay a single finger on anything. Well, jeez, where the hell did you get this? I swear I, you can get your hands on almost anything these days. It scares me to think a thing like this is out in the world. Okay, let's see what I can do with it. I'll give it a shot. Handed U.S. military secret. We got any new weapons? Nope. Got any new things? Nope. So, coming here was pointless. You old talk yeah, this is gonna go fast because we literally only need 100,000 LB. A little bit more than that, but that is not that much if you haven't been keeping up with this game. But yeah, I don't really do Thunder Ryu's gym. It's just not really my thing. I'm sorry about that, but I kind of like having extra money that most of the mini games there I hate. There's only three, but se what the heck? I was going like four miles an hour. Did you guys see that? That was terrible. But yeah, that is probably why, because later in the game, um, getting money becomes extremely easy if you're not going to Thunder Ryu's gym every time. Maybe if and when I do the PS3 version, I'll go there more. But I showed off everything that was there. So it's okay, I've shown off Thunder Ryu's gym. I've showed off Beefhead videos, I've shown off everything. Except the free fights, but what those are are just the levels that we've already been in. But yeah, I've shown off mostly all the assassination missions, and I am 100% going to show off all the part-time jobs. Because those are, those are like half the game. That's crazy. But you know, it's cool. Can I Tokyo Drift? Nope? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna look up a tutorial how to Tokyo Drift in No More Heroes like a boss. Someday, guys. Someday. You never know. Why you come here? <laughs> gangster voice, gangster voice, gangster voice, gangster voice. Today's thing, we already did gas stand, and today's mine sweeping. Yeah, I don't remember this one at all. I remember how much I hate this one, but I don't remember but I didn't remember which rank it came. Of course happens right after the level with the mines. Coincidence? I think not. Z. No, I don't. I think I think Sam E. Haha. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. Alright though, let's go minesweeping. Ever played that game? I have. I don't know how the floof you play it, but still. Let's just jump off! <laughs> oh, what? Is my bike floating? 
Okay, I thought it was floating. Did it seriously just hit the bench invisible wall? What? This game confuses the crap out of me, let me tell you. Kinda wonder if I somehow get it over the invisible wall with the game crash. <laughs> that would be amazing. Gunspoken rules of sand destroy indicate danger. No one swims on the beach here. These are military mines buried in the sand after all. The army used the beach for testing out new maneuvers. You don't see any girls in bikinis and you only need a metal detector to avoid getting a serious sunburn. What else would you expect from this place anyway? No tourists, no sunbathers, no logic. The god of landmines hates metal detectors. So work persistently. Alright, my gangster friend. Today we are going to play Minesweeper. Not really, thank god. So yeah, I think it's really weird the fact that Travis has his beam katana out. I don't know. It just looks so weird. He's like, has a mind. This thing's gonna start rapidly beeping when we get close to mines. Oh, I hear someone. Oh! What? Oh! There we go! Oh! 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 There we go! We get? Yeah! I love this game. See, see, this is the stuff. I gotta be quiet here so I can hear the mines. There we go. Hear the mines. What the dump? That's one way to do it. Why the heck would they have a dude in his twenties go around looking for mines and in in on beach? It's not like I conveniently have a lightsaber to get all these things out. Yeah, I freaking have no idea what the gold for this is. I don't even know what the silver or bronze is. No, no, I saw it. I saw it. There we go. He <laughs> just like, although he just like sticks it on, then like walks, then just like it just explodes. He's so cool. Yeah. It's like it's not like we can get the only guy with a lightsaber in this city to clean out all the mines in the beach, you know. Like, that's crazy. They can only have a dude with a lightsaber in their city to clean out mines. And there we go. I really hope it's ten, because I don't think we're getting fifteen. Oh, 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 it was fifteen? I need like one more. There we go. We're good. We go for bonus. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. No, we were so close. Yeah, there's a weird glitch you can do that I was trying to do. I don't know like what it is. Like, oh wait, wait. It's by the guy. Yeah, we got gold. Thirty thousand LB. Nice guys. Nice. It's by the guy. Like, watch what we're gonna do. I think. Oh no, it's really cool. Hey, you third rate, I've got another job for you. I'm a little shady, but perhaps work with all the same as energy. There's a cool glitch you can do, like where you have your beam katana out and you also have the metal detector, and he's like holding them weirdly. I don't know how you pull it off. I forget how you pull it off, but still. I don't know why, but I s still hear the trip mine beeping in my head. Beep, beep, beep. Now, you know what we could do? We could literally just do the. We literally just do, um, what was it? We literally just do seven forever, but still. I don't know which one it was that was the, was it the assassination gig? 
What was it again? Um, what if I just look up easiest way to get money in No More Heroes? Way to get money in No More Heroes. That was meant No More Heroes 2. Darn it. Look at on game facts, our best friend from the Final Fantasy LP. Uh, gamble fight. We have we don't have gamble fight, do we? Read the titles: Tiger Hall, Dark Side Battle, Baseball Battle. Uh, we don't have um, gamble fight. Gig eighteen. Well, jeez. Screw it. Let me just go death match a hundred. I mean, might as well. Yeah, later in the game, toward the end game, we're gonna need a lot of money. <laughs> Not just for assassination stuff, but also for, um, the Vinyl Beam Katana. But yeah, this is going to be a double-length episode where I will do the assassination stuff, and I will do the ranked fights, and I will get all the money and stuff, you know. All I gotta do is Deathmatch 100, because you guys remember that. Kinda wonder, am I just gonna speed it up, or am I gonna... Am I actually gonna leave it all in? I mean, what if I say some important stuff? Will I speed this up because we've already done this? I think this is the first instance of me repeating myself in this series, except for that one time with, um, the one, one thing. I don't know. Do, 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 just scrolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow and stick around after key. Of course, I just remembered. Just now. Can he punch while he's walking? No, I'm sad. <laughs> All we gotta do is deathmatch a hunter. That children is what will help us. But you're wondering how we're gonna get money in the end game? Assassination Gig 18. See, I told you guys I forgot which one it was, but now I remember because of Game Facts. Remember, Kitty, say thanks, Game Facts. Remember how easy this is. I don't even need to do a low attack, I can just do a high attack and it'll work. Look at that. One hit anything. One hit. Just one hit? Kills him. And we get like a two and one like I'm doing. Like It's crazy. I love this so much. I love that he knows. Suda51 knows that there there's that we need so much money in this game, then he gives us this nifty little money-making method. Really nice of the guy, I have to say. That is why Suda51 is still one of my favorite game developers to this day. Fact of life, children, he is God. We all know he is the base God. It's not Shulk, no, it's Suda51. Suda51, Suda51, whatever you want to call the dude, just call- I call him Goichi Suda, personally. Most of you know him by Suda51. Look at that. Beautiful. It's beautiful, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Travis, get up, man. Beam katana wielding mother flooper. He's trying to take me down. But yeah, I think after the next ranked fight, then after this upcoming ranked fight, we're going to get a new Beam Katana, I hope. Bringing it to the third Beam Katana in the game, which is pretty cool to think about, in my opinion. Pretty cool to think about. Oh my goodness. I love this game. I love it so much. And I want to go into detail really quickly of why I did not do the PS3 version. The control I've already covered. I mean, the graphics were actually a reason. I, I was gonna... They didn't remake the second game for the PS3. So my thing is, I want to give you guys the most regular experience possible with this game. Like, not mean like... Not like boring regular, just like the most average run, like, of the game. They didn't remake the second one for the PS3, so... I didn't want to go from, holy crap, these graphics look sick, to what the heck happened. <laughs> I don't really want to go there. Because you guys will get angry and be like, Ooh, what happened to the graphics? Why did they down them so much? But actually, from the first game to the second game, the graphics were up pretty heavily. And I really like it. The second game, I love all the amount of time they put into it. 
It's beautiful. It's great. It's so Suda. Yeah, Suda makes some really good games. Like, No More Heroes is my favorite of his. No More Heroes 2 was really good, too. I don't think it was better than the first, so I still consider the first better. Um, Lollipop Chainsaw, which um, was actually the first one I played. Yeah, that was okay. I mean, it was more of a... It was more of a score attack, like, beat em up type game. Like, even more of a beat em up than this. There was, like, combos and stuff you could do in that game. Like, in here you can up your combo, but it just adds on to you mashing the A button. Like, no different button presses. I didn't find myself... I don't really like games that, um with combos because then I gotta memorize every combo and I don't know which combos I'm going to use and which combos I'm not going to use so it's like really hard to like pick what the dump game okay there we go and then killer is dead which um recently I got at the beginning of this year actually and I really do like that one that one dude that one's a keeper I mean, I don't know, it, it was kind of, it's okay, I mean, it's not my favorite, definitely, but it's just an okay game. I like the style of the game, it, it definitely shows, like, this is made by Suda51, but the gameplay did not feel very fluid, it didn't, like, feel good, like, you had, you had a sword in that game, and you had all these different sub-weapons that were all guns. I, o I only unlocked three of them, there were four. I have no freaking clue how to unlock the fourth one. But in that game, you have a sword, you have your punches, and you have uh, different guns. It's, it's an okay game. I really like the style of the game. The story does not make any sense at all, though. <laughs> Let me just recharge for the last three kills. That one guy's trying to sneak up on me. It's not gonna work. Alright, one... Two, and where's the last one? What? That was okay. Okay then, game. I had no idea that the kill counter was just lagging. Well, thanks, game. Thanks. 90,000 LB going right into my pocket. We can go cash that in for the next assassination battle. It's all good in the hood. We're all good here. We're all good. Am I all good? Is my mic plugged in? My mic's plugged in. Is it recording my blue snowball? I think it's recording my blue snowball. Yeah. But the blue snowball is definitely one of the most, is one of the most quietest mics. So whenever I have to, whenever I edit, I have to up the volume a bit. I mean, I usually do about plus 10. I use Audacity to record my audio. I usually do about plus 10. Um, that's a pretty hefty amount. I used to do about plus um, 16. <laughs> I thought that was way too much, though, and it just sounded kind of, um, weird. I used to do plus 16, and the volume was still really low. But now I use, a uh, plus 10, and I up the volume a little bit more than I did before. And, you know, it's really good. It's really good. I mean, I didn't even have, like, a s set point where I would sit next to my microphone, and I still don't. <laughs> I just sit kind of, um, eh. I don't know. I, just get, I get, like, a ruler to measure away how far my face is, but... That'd just be stupid. Alright, we have paid our entry fee. Let us return to the motel and listen to what Sylvia has to say for us today. On this wonderful sunny day in Santa Destroy. It's always sunny in this game. And I like that. Thanks, No More Heroes. Thanks. I just like the overall experience of this game. It's just, I love the art style. I love the art style so much. In the PS3 version, everything's all shiny and stuff, but it also looks more polished. Because, you know, it's not in the Wii, and the Wii has limitations. But anyway, let's just watch the cutscene. Sylvia, what do you got to say today? <laughs> Travis? Let me guess. You're out shopping. Wrong! Woohoo! I am on vacation! Fiesta, baby! Shopping? Now a vacation? Ooh! Ibiza's amazing! Almost as amazing as me! A hard-working girl never forgets the others, even on vacation! Hey, I don't want to interrupt your fiesta. Who's next? Hey! Give me a second! Don't go anywhere, sweet thing! Mm. What? Huh? Yo, what's the problem? Something wrong? Hello? Um, huh? I'm getting a bad connection! Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 
Great. Woo! <laughs> Shake it, baby! Oh, yeah! Wow, she just flat out hung up on us. Travis, what do you see in this girl? <laughs> let me tell, let me just ask you right now. Why? I still would have gone with Diane from Beefhead videos, but you know, that's just me. That's just my preference. <laughs> I have weird preferences. But whatevs. Now we are going to go fight the boss. I know that's kind of weird that we're going to fight the boss already, but... This episode has only been 20 minutes, and I don't want to do like a really short episode again. But yeah, I can't wait for the new Beep Katana. That's going to be so cool. It feels weird doing two things in one video. <laughs> First we got money, and now we're going to the next rank fight. Rank number five, I think. Oh, yeah. Since Sylvia didn't... Since Sylvia wasn't there to tell us what to do, there are actually blood splatters we need to follow. What a nice thing to follow. I mean, it couldn't have been rose petals, cherry blossoms. Couldn't have been... It could have been a lot of things, but nope, that'd be blood. Whenever you see this game, you think of the color red. That's what I think of, at least. I mean, I don't know about you. So, let us follow this trail of blood, because it actually is really hard to get to where we're going. Uh, the next ranked fight is actually a little bit outside of the city. Um, oh, crap. There's, I missed the turn. I think. I did miss the turn, yeah. Yeah, it's a really weird path to go. But I think this is the only way to actually access the fight. I'm probably wrong about... Wait. The trail's gone dry. Trail's gone dry. Alright, boys, what do we do? Is it this way? It's this way. <laughs> when you see the trail run dry, you just like, what? There it is. See, we found I found the trail, found the palm trees too. Yeah, I don't know why it like does that weird turn. It could have just gone straight, but whatever. Jump for victory! Yeah, look at this. We're going this is probably the farthest we're gonna go out of Sand and Destroy in this game. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Look at this. We gotta go all the way out here. And look, look, look. There, there, up here. And there it is. Who is this person? Who was murdered here? That's a poor old lady. Oh, well. But yeah, we are... See, because I was so concerned about the thing with the level and getting here, I forgot to introduce the boss. That and we're doing this all in one episode. But so, <gasps> oh, yes. yeah. So this is the next amazing level. Look at this amazing design. I'll show you. I'll show you. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> Twenty-eight. <gasps> did I miss one already? <laughs> I did. It's right here. There we go. Twenty-seven. So yeah, as we can see, there's a person over there. We're gonna get out Beam Katana. Hey, I mean pointless sinking. So yeah, throughout this entire level, we are chasing that person, I believe. I mean, I don't think it's that person, but it's we chase someone eventually. Speak of the devil, he will appear. So yeah, I forgot to say, we are fighting Let's Shake this level, probably the hardest boss in the game. There goes an enemy. Could that be the boss? I don't know. We'll find out eventually. Oh, I hate this level so much, though. This is the whole level. <laughs> I'm just gonna flat out say it. Hold up, hold up. Look at the map. Look at the map. Look at this. This is the... Uh, no, 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 go back. This is the whole level. Look at this. Look at that. That's the entire level. Gotta say, not a very impressive level for the hardest boss in the game. But, you know, I guess they were just trying to be that way. That was a really cool blade clash, I have to say. Look at that. We didn't even take out that guy. Why does everyone have beam katanas now? That's not okay. I am not okay with this game. I'm swinging down. What the heck? We almost didn't hit it because of that. But yeah, in this level, I remember when I was playing this for the first time, I was like, how am I gonna, what if I get confused on where I'm going? 
because I remember when I was playing this level, I played on a really small TV and actually ended up missing one of the trading cards in this level, but I'm now playing on my big TV, hopefully not going to miss anything. We are f following Mr. Trenchcoat over here, just, just following him. I am sorry to say this is the whole level. <laughs> I didn't want next episode to just be us walking down this giant hallway and then and then just like it'd be such a boring episode honestly and this is the, probably the shortest level in the game too I mean in terms of length we're only going um from from forward to from back to forward it's just a straight line the whole level's a straight line it takes us so far out of the city, too. That's crazy to think about. But yeah, like, you can see the dot at the end of the tunnel. It's just a really small light. It's a really small light that you can see, twinkling in the distance. I see it. How far are we now? <laughs> yeah, we're a decent way. <laughs> oh my goodness, though. So sorry this has to be the level. <laughs> I didn't make the game. I didn't... I didn't I didn't make this level. This is probably the most boring level in the game too. Thank God. The most boring level is a straight line. I'm I'm proud to say that actually. Actually no I'm not. That's a bad thing. Why the heck would you make a level that's just a, a straight line? Why no twists and turns? You know what? This could have been a perfect level where where Travis could like ride his bike for the entire thing. And then the person we're chasing, not gonna say who it is, um um, is riding a bike too. We're chasing him. How fun would that be? Just driving down this huge corridor. Oh, and what, twists and turns could be here too. That would be really cool. Like Travis busts his whole bike down through that small door, or just like does a hop and falls down. That'd be really cool. I should design No More Heroes 3. I have all these good ideas. I've had so, I've had so many good ideas in this series so far. It's been amazing. I'm such a good idea person. Dark stepped, Mother Floofer. Or not. <laughs> he like dodged all my dark steps there. And get blade clashed. Yeah, I hate that later enemies in the game when even when you blade clash them, they don't die. Which usually they would if they're like at half health or something, but these guys are yeah. annoying. Flat out annoying. <laughs> Whatever though. Yeah, this is probably the best level in the game, honestly. I mean, I give it a 7.8 out of 10. Not enough water. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Eat my nuts. Eat my dark steps. But yeah, if you try to get close to that person, like I've tried, I'm, I remember my first playthrough on this game, where I tried to get close to the person, I couldn't. He just keeps running away from you. It's just terrible. Come on. Come on. It's just come on. Come on. I hate this guy. Jesus. Okay. Battery. I thought that was health. Am I high or something? I thought it was battery. I I could have sworn it was battery. What is that? It's like getting red. What even? The light is getting red. Is that? Oh, that's the objective marker. I'm stupid. Yeah, that's the objective marker. Silly me. Silly me. Back no scope. Get shulked. You all are getting shulked right now. How do you feel about that? Are you really feeling it? Huh? Are you guys really feeling it? I hope so. Hope you brought some room for dessert or something. I don't know. I'm not good with funny quotes. Get backslashed. Get front slashed. Get all the slashed. That guy just keeps running and running away. That guy just... He won't stop. This is the best level in the game. 10 out of 10. Too much water. I mean, enough water. It's, look at that trading card box. I mean, I hope it's a trading card box. Nothing interesting has happened this whole level. 29? Did I get 26, 27, 28? I did. Hey, Sylvia, t teach us the meaning of life right now. Travis, hello? Continue forward and you will enter your next ranked match. 
the fifth rank awaits you if you win. And only eternal damnation awaits if you lose. How are you feeling? No irritable rashes? Hit the john lately? Taken care of the blackheads on your nose? Might I recommend a good hygiene set? When you're ready, step inside. Now, don't tense up too much on this one. You've been slacking off a bit. You must maintain a steady tempo. Oui, you know what I mean, right? I am so sorry to say this, but I am 1,800% positive that you will die here. But trust your force and head for the Garden of Madness. 1,800% sure that we're going to die here. I seriously doubt it, Sylvia. Oh my goodness. This chick has no faith in us, I swear. You guys see the light at the end of the tunnel? I see the light. I'm going to say it before this boss. Oh. This is going to take me a trillion tries. This is going to... This is going to make me... This is going to make me pull my hair out. This is worse than Holly Summers. I'm going to just say that right now. Worse than Holly Summers. How do you even get worse than that chick? Oh my god. Okay. Why? <sighs> well then, guys. I haven't even talked about this boss. I know number five is a really tough rank, honestly. The toughest in the game... You all are going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, I see it. Oh. Oh, it's too white. Why? <laughs> they Sonic Generationed us. Oh, my God. Next boss. Here we go. All right. Incredibly difficult left, left shake. Let's go. At last. Doctor, it's time. Wake up! Oh, yeah. I feel a good undulation. Your rumbling is excellent. I think I'm going to lose the bowel control. <laughs> you the fifth-ranked guy? Yeah! I've been waiting for you! You certainly sound like you're up for a fight. I'm ready whenever you are. All right, then. Here I come. <laughs> Disaster blaster charging ignition. Ignition ready. Activating main engine. Activating sub engine. Check. Cycle ratio 15%. Blaster generator active. Calculating coordinates. Power protection off. Cycle ratio 25%. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh crap. Oh my god. I like a virtual boy. Oh my goodness. Michael Bay would be in tears. That was beautiful. Oh, I love faking you guys out like that. All right, here's the cutscene. Travis touchdown, is it not? Son of a bitch! Fucking snatcher! I had him! Dance with me, Travis. A katana. This is getting interesting. What do you go by? Henry. Henry? <laughs> Your instincts serve you well. I am... I don't know who you are or what you want, Sir Henry. Where are your manners? 
That was my kill, you naughty boy! Shall we get this over with? And don't hate me if I play a tad dirty. Fine by me. After you. And there we go. <laughs> that was the level. Oh my god, I, I faked you guys out so hard. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. We literally just got back most of the money we had before we even started this episode. We got back all the money we had before we started this episode. Anyway, let's watch this amazing cutscene. Oh, I love this next cutscene. Just here we go. Stop right there! The fight is over! Travis, you are now ranked fifth. But we haven't even... We're just getting started! Perhaps you've forgotten these fights are an official game. If your opponent dies for whatever reason, according to the rules of conduct, it is your win. That's fucked up! That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard! This guy's mine, and you just want me to let him go? Bitch! Mm. Rules are rules. You can't have what you can't have. Whatever. But this dude says he wants to fight, and ain't nobody gonna stop him. This ass clown right here is... Who? Hey! He's gone! Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker, he just jetted! What a pussy. Sorry, save that aggression for your next match. Who the hell was that guy? All right, Sir Henry Mother Floofer. Oh my goodness, though. So we just met Henry, this crazy Irish dude who comes in, steals our kill with a crazy beam katana like ours. Also voiced by Quentin Flynn, one of my favorite video game voice actors of all time. Voicing Silver the Hedgehog currently, Axel from Kingdom Hearts, Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. Funnily enough, he's also the guy that <laughs> tells us the ranking information, the same voice. They don't play the same role, though. I never understood why. I mean, we could have just had Travis's voice over the next rank thing for all we, for all I care, but whatever. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> they, play, they play the same. They play this. They play. They play the same thing in this game. No, they don't. What am I trying to say? They both play different things in the same game. That's what I was trying to say. All right. But anyway, guys, that'll be it for this double-length episode of No More Heroes. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment on what you thought of that fake-out, though. This is the only fake-out of the game. I love it so much. Oh. But anyway, guys, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Striking me three. Signing off. Peace out, Loki Chains. And good night.